Kapika, Kapika. I say this wrong every time. <laughs> Jay, and today I'm here with yet another book haul because again no self-control and there was a 50% off sale so here we are again I picked up five more books so without further ado let us get started <sighs> the first book I picked up is based solely off of the author but it is Pretty Baby by Mary Kubica I've read Every Last Lie by her and really liked it and then I also own Don't You Cry and I recognized her name and I was like we need it. The book follows Heidi, who has always felt that she needed to help people. So when she returns home to her husband and daughter, they are a little bit scared when she has a homeless woman and her baby in tow. They have no idea who this woman is, and as she begins to live with them, little secrets from her past begin unraveling. What starts as an act of kindness quickly makes their lives spiral out of control and it's the story of that. I really liked her other book so I thought I'd give this one a try. Hopefully I like it as well but I guess we will see. The next book I picked up because I thought that the synopsis was really interesting. It's All Is Not Forgotten and this is by Wendy Walker. It follows a woman named Jenny who is assaulted one night at a party and then she's offered this miracle drug that helps her forget everything that happened. So she decides to take the drug and and she's healing from her physical wounds with no memory of what happened that night and her father is trying everything in order to find her attacker but having very little luck. Her mother spends most of her days pretending that the attack never happened and it's basically the story of her father trying to find the attacker, her mother pretending it never happened, and Jenny trying to deal with her own aftermath of the attack. And I just think that it sounds intriguing. The next book I have is Anatomy of a Scandal and this is by Sarah Vaughn and I saw this book when it first came out and I was interested in it but I never really thought that I would buy a full copy of it, but then I found it at the thrift store. It follows a woman named Sophie who has basically the perfect life, and then her husband returns from work one day and says that something has happened and that he's actually going to be put on trial for this huge scandal, so her world kind of falls apart. And then the information about the scandal and what happened and what her husband did comes out, and it's basically the story of her trying to deal with it, and as more and more things are unveiled, she doesn't really know who her husband is anymore. Anymore. I'm just excited to see what the scandal is to be honest. I hope it's something like real sinister like he like killed his secretary or something. I don't know. The next book I have is The Breakdown by B.A. Paris. All I really know about the book is that it follows a woman who is driving down the road late at night and she sees a car and a woman sitting inside of it but she decides not to stop to help her and then the next day she finds out that the woman in the car actually died and I'm gonna guess that it's like a murder but it doesn't really say it just says she can't get the crime out of her mind and then the final book I picked up was pretty much just because it was one of those buy four get the fifth one free my mom read the book she liked it Sasha Eilsberg has said it's one of her favorite books so I was like I'm okay, going why not but it is a discovery of witches and this is by Deborah Harkness and all I really know is that it's about witches and this girl finds a book that makes her discover the witches and then a vampire shows up I don't know but We'll see what we think of it if I ever get around to actually reading it. All right, guys. So that was my little book haul this time around. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.